Okay, everybody, hello and welcome to the Shanghai Major Open Qualifiers semi-finals between Young and Wild versus Extremists. We are in game two in this best of three Reading series between team both teams back. to take the final slot in the grand finals. God, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not just the casters that are nervous, but it's the players that are nervous. Uh, yep. Player, we saw Extremists, you know, they had That's some so choky plays early on in the game, but they seemed to find their composure and made some very, very good plays. Some risky choices, but you know, worked out for them. The riskiest choice was going high ground for extremists. I looked at that play and I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is a good play. You're, you're going to force Young and Wild back and then you can just back up. No, <laughs> they went high ground and they turned what could have been a disaster into a miracle. So... Yeah, that was, that was... <laughs> They, they, I want, I would kind of, like, if we could, I would have loved to, like, hear comps. Because, like, I want to see, are they yelling, like, nightmare me, nightmare me? Or is it just, like, do they have faith in each other? <laughs> it's gonna nightmare me, I don't even say anything. I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't even talking to each other. <laughs> they're just, they're just in the zone, they're just, like, divide, 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 go, 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 murder okay, them. Okay, this, this is C, no, no one says divide here, unfortunately, so. What? I might disappoint so, you. Is extremists? Or are they Malaysian? Five Ex I don't know where these players are from. Unfortunate. I think I think extremists were Filipino. I think. What's the Filipino version of Divai? I don't speak Filipino. I don't think they have anything like Divai in Filipino. They don't. They only cuss at each other. That's it. They only cuss. They don't. Aww. They don't have stuff like Divai. Oh, no. That's a luxury. <laughs> Dota 2 anyway. Right, so you got our picks and more well, picks are happening right now. Bans for Young and Wild. I wouldn't blame them for banning out the Void here. Void, even though he wasn't a major factor in the game, the Chronosphere, it made Young and Wild a little bit too hesitant when it came to team fights. And we can't count at time dilation. That spell is ridiculously strong. Man, that. I saw it bottom. There was a. It was like a, it was like an eighty percent sort of something onto the uh, the gyrocopter and the evoker and the uh, the support. The uh, Ten yeah, it was it was insane. So you're getting rid of faceless void and Five ventral spirit. Remain. Interestingly enough, uh, a lot of teams like running core ventral spirit. I'm a, I've I've mixed ventral feelings with the hero. You can do a lot with the swap, but um, I don't think that she is a major factor. Bounty and Darkseer bans. Why do you think they banned the bounty? We haven't seen the bounty at all. Bounty. I mean, we haven't watched Young and Wild, so I imagine because Young and Wild are known for it. Like they, they've probably gone through some of the games in the uh, the past few days. Uh, Expressed. <laughs> So I'm sure that Young and Wild must have some great games. Bounty Hunter must have seen, okay, let's not play against this. Uh, also, they've picked some fairly squishy supports. Um, I guess the Bane is a little bit tanky, but I was is really food for a Bounty Hunter plus one. Mm. So, Invoker, Wisp, and Bane. Do you think Extre- oh wait, was it Extremists that ran the Chaos Knight Wisp? Yes, I so yes. I would I'm down to seeing more Chaos Knight. If they pick Chaos Knight, they have earned themselves a new fan for tonight. So oh, I the, the Chaos Knight player was actually amazing too. He Absolutely. Knew his his oh, mechanics like Hero takes a lot of practice to play. And do, and really good decision making as well. Because you can't just go into any team fight reality rift and stun. Because you probably are gonna end up in between twenty billion heroes. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit tough to play Chaos Knight against Radiant Invoker. Team. There's a lot of AOE on Invoker, so until you get like Armlet plus another strength item, your uh, your illusions die very quickly. Mm. So Young and Wild, they I want to say they took the bait in, in banning out the tiny, ah, and they take out the CK the as well. That was yeah. I don't know if but, Young and Wild watched them, but very good ban. Yeah. Could uh, be a Sven game. Yep, I'm down for Io Sven. I'm down for Io Bristleback too. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Is there anything else we could? Sometimes teams run um. Sorry, Io Slada. Not Jari. Not Jari. I've seen Slada. 
they, play they the focus partner themselves. Yeah, they did. But just pointing out that uh, I've seen some teams running the slaughter jug ban from extremists. I'm I've got no issues with this gyro pick. So yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking of. It's like a, it's it just makes the gyro tanky. You get it yeah. for the overcharged damage reduction more than the attack speed. I think the only unfortunate thing is that before the gyro gets maybe his first three items, he do he hits like a noodle. So he's not he's not he's not going to be in the sense that he's a tiny and he naturally hits hard with the wisp buffing his attack speed. He's just relying on the wisp to sort of keep him alive. Unless they pick up a hero that is still going to combine with the wisp, but they're going to act as a momentum based duo rather than just having, you know, the gyro wisp together. We could see that as well, but it depends on what hero they're gonna pair up with it. If they decide to go for that combination. You know what I don't think is a bad partner for Io? I think Axe. You can offline Axe. I've seen that combination before, honestly. And the game that I watched it in, it caught the enemy by surprise. So I wouldn't mind an Axe this game. It would be great initiation for Gyro as well. To help line them up for a cooldown. So I'm on board if they pick up an Axe. I'm sure that it's in the back of Extremist's mind. I'm sure like, if they see like a Dazzle pick or something... Radiant mm, Witch Doctor. I'm not sure how good Axe is in Witch Doctor. Beastmaster. Beastmaster. So, Extremist is definitely looking for a mid hero. Maybe they could go for the Wisp Viper. Some teams do like to go for Wisp Viper. Even though Viper is... doesn't need the regen, it improves his attack speed. Yep, definitely. This is... I like the Beastmaster pick though, because he gives them vision and helps set up for the relocates. Even I relocate this master isn't bad. Relocate and do a savage roar or savage roar. Primal roar. Primal roar. No, savage roar is the lane druid. They could pick lane druid honestly if they wanted yes. to. Yes. Io plus bear is pretty strong. Ember spirit. This is a good pick from Young and Wild, as extremists don't have enough lockdown to just keep an ember spirit down. No, Seven. I think they do. It's ulti based, but with Beastmaster, Roar, and Bean Elemental, Bean Script, I think they have enough to lock down an Ember Script. That's the problem, though. It's ulti based. You don't have anything like a, a Lift or a Burrow Strike to sort of set up for those ganks. Because for Beastmaster to get in range for a Roar, he has to get pretty close. Ember Spirit's just going to run it out. If he sees a Bane, he's going to do the same thing. Ten seconds. So there's there's sure. not really that much yeah, that they, they could need, have. They need either a blink on the Beastmaster or an Avalance on the Bane before we can do it. Mm. Unless they're, they pick up an Orchid Carrier. That's true. They could go for a Quap. Could be Clinks. Sometimes teams go for Clinks Wisp. Radiant team pick. That's fair. Let's see. Nature's prophet. Oh. So... oh wait, did no no no. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Hot Six. Oh my <laughs> right. god. Bello is God. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about those games we saw yesterday. It was so trolly. I can't get it out of my head. It was it was that was a fun game. That was a fun game. It was fun, yes. Um so is this a mid is this a mid Beastmaster or a mid Prophet? It would. I have a feeling it could honestly be a. It might be a safe lane Beastmaster. I mean, I could do it anyway. H God's playing the Nature's Prophet. So What's that's it H God. So it's off lane. The off lane there. Okay, so off lane the... Nature's Prophet. Who's mid QZ? I think it's just gonna be the safe lane gyro mid beat. Oh yeah, be mid Beastmaster. I can't believe I forgot about this. I just said that. I said sorry. Mid it's a mid Beastmaster. Than sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I'm like completely having things slip out of my mind. But mid Beastmaster, I guess an Inverka. Thoughts? I, mean, I feel like Beastmaster in lane is a lot like Dragonite. He doesn't win lane that much, but he does. Really? But he, but he does always farm. Like, you can't stop the hero from farming. He also, like, if he pushes the lane out, he can rotate back into the jungle. Kind of stuff. So you're okay with the Beastmaster mid? Would you say that he's going to do okay against KZ, or, or is he just going to have to sort of keep it as even as possible? Um, I think he does fine. I mean, one thing is that Beastmaster has, like, 70 base damage, and Invoker has, like, 40. Sub 40, I think. Here has has 40 base damage with two iron branches. Tiki's going down bottom. 
presume this is just for the rune. It shouldn't be a mid. Unless they put gyro mid, then that, that would be something fresh. Fresh and new. Highly doubt it. I mean, I'm sure that's horrible for this game. So, we'll do t quick team introductions. I will do Young and Wild today, because you did Young and Wild before, I think. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah, I did. So, on the side of Young and Wild, on the Witch Doctor, we have Witch seconds. Doctor. I can't pronounce his name, but he has probably, or arguably, the o most awesome looking mask I've seen. I'm loving the, whatever these are, the leaves or feathers that is draping look, over his back. Like hedge, they look like, kind of like Hedgehog. It looks like Dazzle. <laughs> Oh my god, I guess it's like <laughs> pink like that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Justin Bieber is going to be handling the Ember Spirit, going towards the rune. We have, oh god, M Guy back to Macaron. Macaron. I forgot, I forgot, his, I, I forgot how we're going to do it. It's like Macaron, right. Macaron. On the Talisk, we have KZ on the Invoker. And finally, in the offlane, Yoda on our Timbersaw. That was the last pick. Um, yep. Timbersaw last pick, by the way, I wanted to ask you, how does it fare up against extremists? Is, it, is it just- It's the IO. Blow up the IO. Remove 15% of his strength, which is like 15% of his health. And then just burst him down with Timber Chain and all the other pure damage you have with Chakram and stuff. Are you sure it's not, you know, because they maybe have a phobia of trees? Because they picked a nature's prophet after all. Okay, that's also <laughs> fair. It does, it does break the sprout very easily. And speaking of speaking of nature's prophet, let's do the introduction starting with him. We have H God on your awfully nature's prophet, starting with the uh, nature's call in the mid lane. We have Siki playing the Beastmaster, starting with his axes, oh. and playing the support Io. We have Mad as starting with the bottle today. And we have next Oheb playing the Bane Elemental. And last but not least, Yuzi playing the farming Yarocopter. So Lance is looking just standard. The only thing I wouldn't say is standard is that Mad is sitting in the bottom lane rather than going for pulls and stacks for the mid lane for Beastmaster. I guess at this point, they feel that Beastmaster can sort of self-sustain when he has those boars up to stack for himself. Yeah, he's just gone bottle, so he just farms with uh, wild axes. Okay, so this is very much like a... Uh, very, very much like a Dragon Knight lane. He just farms with axes, tries to harass the enemy while getting DPS. And like I said before, Invoker is some abysmal base damage, so he's not going to deny for the be against the Beastmaster. There was a really good juke up top. Um, Young and Wild tried to chase down the Nature's Prophet, and he juked to the right when the Ice Shards is going to block the path on the left. So uh, you didn't catch it. Everyone on the Dota TV managed to, as I'm doing camera on Dota TV. Yay! Yay! Sorry, Yay. Scream. You guys got the. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys you, got the bad. You got the budget. St <laughs> the budget camera. <laughs> We're you not even the, getting uh... paid. I. Man, I can't wait. Okay, I really hope that Jake and Veggie Esports get into the finals or and like go to the uh, go to the Shanghai majors. Didn't Veggie get knocked out already? Okay. No, I no, thought no, Veggie got, got knocked day, out. They got into day two. Um, I saw somewhere they got knocked out. Uh, I mean, they got knocked out on a. Oh, day on, one, on of the, course, yes. On the uh, the first one. Uh, the first okay. Oh, we didn't see first missed. blood. Oh no, how bad is this? Too busy watching stacks. He didn't use the snowball. He, it was just ice shards and uh, shatter cask. Of course, ember spirit chains and flame guard are very good abilities. I would like to see the nature's prophet farming the camp over here. It's open. It's safer, and it's guaranteed God. ESP as well. It really I... seems like people have just forgotten this camp existed. I mean, I think he feels like it's close enough. Because he's arranged here, he can just soak EXP from it. We gotta be so, so careful, like, though. He just got like 50 XP from that. It's like really close up now. He can do it. You have to be so careful. Because there's always gonna be that tusk. The tusk factor. Yeah, he's just that before for when they die. And mid lane. Beast Pass is doing really well. KZ can't really harass him out. He's been taking consistent axe damage and. Siki's just too tanky. 5 armor, 800 HP compared to Invoker's pit- like, I don't want to say he's got pitiful attack damage, but that, that's pretty much the case. <laughs> I can't say too for, much. He, he's gone for the Quas build, so you can try to sustain out the, uh, the axe spam. Hmm. 
What rune is Tusk gonna grab? Just a bounty. Arcane rune on the wisp. That's okay. not a rune that you would like if you're a wisp. That great. Right. Oh, I'm snowball. Sure it's fine. Snowball in the lane. It's fine. Nightmare? Beast they could beast nightmare set up. So tanky. They've got the nightmare set up, but I don't know if they want to jump into this. And they just profit TP's in as well. Can they get the kill under the tusk at least? Yeah, oh, they the will. Axes. Oh, that chopped right into him. Now Timber's off to run. It's good play. He point Timber Chain. He can get out. They're young and wild. They thought they could grab the kill. Not quite the case. And if there's a Bane nearby, you know you're going to get nightmared. Yep. I don't think they expected, like, the full rotation. They expected that to be more free when they went to it. Oh, yes, it was not. We have two stacks. Oh, snow snowball down bottom. Uh, onto the gyrocopter, QZ. Oh, but the, uh, Xan is here, all the way to the cast. And they're all. And he's dead. Successful snowball for the unsuccessful snowball mid. Comes it out a little bit. It's a carry. I would say it's worth a lot more than a tusk kill. So it was definitely worth Young and Wild to invest time into kill killing off the gyro. Base been busy stacking this camp, uh, this big camp over here. Oh, I guess I'll ping it, if you can see. He's, he's been busy, yeah, uh, see busy that. stacking that's, that game. Uh, Quad stack. stack. Quad stack. Wait, that's, that looks like a three stack to me. It's four there's stack. Two, there's two trolls and one helger. Is it? Hang on, I can't mouse over them. It was a, I guess that he failed the pull then, because it was a tri stack before he, he pulled oh, it. Oh, okay, then he uh, failed, he failed the pull. Then. I thought it was a quad stack. I just assumed it was successful. So we got three heroes in the bottom lane for each team. Now QZ's quite aggressive in his positioning, but Wisp is just gonna sort of harass the Witch Doctor. Like, get out of my river. This is my river. Now you oh, just cover comes in the sprout. Now, can Jaro get in time though? He just cuts through the tree line. That's gonna be okay yeah. for the Witch Doctor. Gonna go for a turn. Coconut doesn't land over here. Comes reinforcement. Snowball onto the nature's proper. He's gonna be the nightmare to keep them alive. QZ though, managing to finish off the task before the nature's puppet is dead. Now QZ is in trouble, but Wiss is coming in. Can he bottle him up to full? And there is no coconut available as it's on cooldown from the Witch Doctor. Now they're gonna turn and try to get a kill on the Timbersaw. Unfortunately, no disables, but instead they're gonna rely on the Rocket Barrage and straight Timber Chain up. Timbersaw is fine. No one else dies. Nature's Prophet for a Tusk. It would be a win for Young and Wild. It was a support for an offlane. Probably. Also, Nature's Prophet is a hero that doesn't like to die. He's not like a Tusk where he needs like very little to get around. Nature's Prophet is a hero that would really like items. Absolutely. Is he going oh, for Hand of Midas this game? Oh, he's gonna die just as he came back. James oh. and X. Uh, flame guard probably gonna kill H God. Kills yep. that man. He just came back as well. Oh, that hurts. Man and taunts coming from Ember Spirit. You must train harder. <laughs> that was just the audio taunt. Oh, there's a snowball under Sticky. It was actually blocked in with the ice shards, but the cold snap's not gonna be enough. Nightmare, I think that may have just secured his death. Oh. Tornado, he's dead. He's not gonna get so out. Tanky, oh, he gets the roar, oh, not the back, he gets the, the axe kill. Sticky, what There's are you going... doing? But the coconut will kill him. That's it. No, oh, Heb. Does he have reinforcements? Does he have help? He's taking he's a lot of damage. He's running down towards the IO. Cold snaps enough. He, he won't get there in time, unfortunately. Gyro coming in though, very low, but the cooldown's gonna connect under two. Rock up Barrage, they will finish off the Witch Doctor at least. Invoker had no mana to do anything. Yeah, but you still lost your mid and a support. You only get a support as consolation. I guess you got the task uh, no, as no, well. The task, got but the, it's uh, still just supports. Well, You're not killing yeah. cores. Yeah. Jericho, uh, wow, the beast is gonna have like a 10 minute. Uh, Necrobook? Yeah, Necrobook. This is really fast. It's very good. I, I like this build a lot. Uh, the reason why I like this is firstly, it's the zoo strat for <laughs> a Beastmaster. He just gives everyone the extra attack speed. Um, so he really likes having no summons when it comes to pushing. It's also great for when it comes to early team fights because the damage that the Necrobook does, I'm watching Hage God oh, die by the no. way. He, uh, he finally <laughs> found that little camp that we were talking about and he gets punished for it. Yeah, he gets punished. But, but um, I like Necrobook and Beastmaster because firstly, Necrobook does a load of damage early game. The mana drain is nice, especially up against heroes like Timbersaw and Invoker and even Ember Spirit because they all want mana. 
So yeah. uh, it's great for the fighting and pushing Beast Master. He's not. It's not great for uh, in initiating though. So that is a problem for extremists. Getting into initiation range will be a problem. Um, they have a lot of it though. Like they have Sprout. They have Fiend's Grip. They have Nightmare. <laughs> They have a uh, roar. They're really out of position. Gyrocopter ultimate. Yeah. TZ just farming up the stacks now. Uh, we've got the net worth opened up as well. How is everyone looking in terms of items? Hang on, items open. So, got makings of a battle fury on the on Justin Bieber. So, Ember Spirit's just rushing the battle fury this game. He's it's not really interesting. He only has. He doesn't even. He's okay. He has Apollo. PMS. Oh, I guess he's waiting to, for his. He's not getting. He's not upgrading his boost of travel. Because, no. Or, he's not upgrading to boost of travel. No, he's not upgrading his boots so that he can leave the boost of travel open. It's an item build up. Aircopter has just finished his. Um, what's it called? His drops. They're on the curry now. Okay. I'm wait, rather surprised. Oh, wait, no, he sold it actually. Oh god, he's actually gonna be jumped on by two and all of a sudden Witch Doctor okay. and Timbersaw, enough to take him down. Uh, Tusk is in the top lane, so if Oheb shows himself, he is most likely Radiant going to get chopped up to bits, but sitting very Radiant defensive in his positioning. Oh. Uh, okay, he... They're looking Radiant for it, they're not going to go for it. Attack. They're thinking about it, but Tusk is... he's hesitating because it's under a T1 tower. So... Mm -hmm. Doesn't really want to go for it. Might run into the Tusk. Oh no, Tusk is actually going to be spotted out by the Beastmaster instead. Wisp is going to help him speed up that little bit more. Raw actually getting yep. into range, and the Axe is doing a load of damage. Brain sap on the high ground from the Bane. And I think wow. Nature's Prophet popped the ultimate just to make sure they got that kill if he tried to get away. Top tower is under yep. attack. Well, at least there was a successful kill, but again, it's only on a support. I think the unfortunate thing here for extremists is they just can't kill any of these core heroes. It's just, it's mostly been the supports that have been showing themselves. Their crew and to be fair, done. they're pretty elusive with yes. uh, Ember Spirit Remnants, uh, Timber's Chain on the Timber Saw, and Invoker in. They could get him a little more, but they haven't been going for it. He also has, he also can invoke the um, Ghost whenever, so they, they'll need to make detection for him if they go for him. Look at the commitment down bottom. Smoke on two, and the other two are just going to run in from the side. So Mad is going to be in for a bit of a rude awakening oh. as Cold Snap, Snowball Shards, and just connect on. But here comes the Death Lord bouncing between both the Wisp instead of Focus of the Wisp. Now Cusy going to get up, and is they going to get a kill onto the task? Cusy super low, but here comes Timbersaw and Invoker. Looks like Cusy wants to man fight Timbersaw. He gets that kill. Now the Witch Doctor's trying to run away from oh the Gyro. And here comes Hage God. The Coconut might kill him, and the Creeps. Witch Doctor gets that kill, but he gets shot to hell because of the axes. And the only hero to get out of this gank train was the invoker who was in a very defensive position to begin with to trade two supports and a core for just a gyro and a wisp what would you consider that invoker actually finds the bane has no mana oh. either so no brain snap no head's dead okay this is definitely definitely in favor definitely in the favor of being in the world um invoker's looking for more look at his positioning get spotted out by the tree Oh, they have, they have Primal Roar. Uh, they don't want to, because the Timber Sauce. I'd rather have the Gyro here. If you don't have Gyro, then you don't have that much damage. They're gonna be able to surprise him with the Necro Book 2, though. You know, I, I realize the reason for this great battery rush is because, look at all of the summons. You have Koreans, you have Beastmaster Necro Book. We're gonna get so much cleave off. It's not just the cleave though, but it also speeds up this farm. If you invest this early into a farming item like Battle Fury, you're going to be farming really quickly. Definitely because he, does, he, does, he doesn't even have to fight anymore. He's just like, okay guys, you can make space for me. I'm going to farm, and you are going to fight. It's gonna be. Oh man. Uh, I think Beastmaster really needs level 15. Or level 14. He, with this build, he really wants the inner beast because uh, to buff a Phenomicon. Oh, I hear uh, a snowball and a death ward. Yeah, that's so head really, really dead. They were all tusk, but unfortunately they just didn't have any DPS to follow through. And all yeah. the summons are going to okay. be summoned. Okay, tusk He's is dead. dead. They get eight kill. So, oh, they get two kills. Yeah, supports for two supports. Good. That was good. That was a good they, trade. Uh, they did use the reload, but that's fine. 
It's a fair use of the relocate. Can harass back Justin Bieber with some flat cannon. So it looks like up top, they're gonna try and push this top lane. And Ember Spirit gonna TP home first and come back to the Remnant when he feels like it. He's gonna go bottom instead. So, only Remnant's behind and he's gonna chase after Hage God. He's gonna go into the tree line, but here comes TP's Beastmasters here. And that's not gonna be enough as Hage God's gonna be alive for a little bit longer. And now JP, he has to Remnant home. Although he could jump on a Shiki and so the chains are there and the snowball, the punch, they get a kill onto an even bigger target. And they see Hage God. No, oh, they don't get the vision anymore, I remember. Now, oh, oh that's yeah, gonna be enough. Get with the timbers, uh... Oh, that's, that sting. So it because it could have just been a nature's profit, but they got an M, uh, they get the natures and a beast monster. Man, that is such a good ice shard there. Like he could have done like a cluster charge ice shard or whatever, but like the long range into the trees. The profit just so happened to be there. So. Throughout those shards. So let's take... for it. Good. So if we look at the progression on both teams, Necro Book 2 on the Beastmaster is very close to Necro Book 3, honestly. And we only have the Sanj on the Gyro. So he's gone for Sanj and Yasha, but it's going to be another five minutes for him to finish up farming that Yasha. So they're, they're doing nicely for progression, but they would like to be a little bit further ahead than what they have right now. Because if you compare it to Young and Wild, Battle 3 on an Ember Spirit this early plus 2k gold is... Insane. Invoker? He has 3,000 gold. Oh man. my gosh. He could finish his. Um... Orchid? Is it an yes, orchid? It, it could is... be a Yule. I'd say Yule's. Orchid. You can play so aggressively this game. I think it's that like, you're not really disabling a lot of stuff. Oh, I um, shot the block Siki. No. It's fine. Mm, they can be so aggressive. They can so aggressively with this husk. I love it. This is how the hero is meant to be played. We're gonna TP the Witch Doctor up top, defend this T2 push from QZ and Mad. I'm wondering, does Extremists want to play the Gyro Wisp as, a, as similar to how a CK Tiny does? Where they just sort of keep on farming on their own and if a fight happens they relocate in? Yeah, that's or... what they seem to be doing, like relocate into Cauldron must be strong. Unfortunately though, Invoker might find oh, Wisp Invoker's, and Gyro. Invoker has a Shadow Blade! Uh, he won't- uh, Oh, actually, he's really quick. Cold's yeah, not gonna be enough. Oh, oh, I don't- really That was that. a bit of- That's overkill. So they're gonna lose they, they the whisper nothing. Who else was there. Actually, never mind. No, 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 Hage God's coming in, he's gonna be a tether target, so they might not even get the kill on the Wisp. Tether out, he's fine. Yeah. I didn't think he was gonna have a target. So... Uh, by the way, Bane dies to Tusk, and oh, then no. Invoker just goes under the cover of invisibility again, Death Ward. Oh, look at that beautiful raw, but Siki, where's the backup? Can they finish up the Invoker? He is so low! He gets finished up, now it's gonna be the Witch Doctor to be taken down next. Although we have a hero coming in from the backside, Yoda. Okay, Yoda, do not go in this. This, this is way too risky. And all of a sudden, I hear Ember Spirit chain somewhere. He just used it on creeps. He just used it on the uh, Centaur camp. Okay, I was wondering, like, what, would he, what was he doing? <laughs> Also, oh. level 3 oh, Necro Book at the They found Yoda! Oh, oh no. my goodness. Streamists find the kills that they wanted. And they can now translate it into a tower push. Oh my goodness. This guy is doing so much work this game. Oh, he is doing a lot of work this game. And not just Hate God, I want to say QZ Sicky has made some good Sicky. plays. Sicky has like, done well. I feel like... I feel like this is really a sticky and H godly reward to both get the sun off and cancel the death ward was was godly. I don't think cancelling the death ward was intentional, honestly. They get the they get the circle uh, though onto the They have the counter initiated with the uh Calden. Beastmaster's Running too forward. tanky. He was and even Justin Bieber is gonna die! Why yeah, did he it, he should have left the defensive room and now they get the fiend's grip onto the invoker as well, they get everybody! They're they, all dead! I would consider this a team wipe because Timbersaw was dead before this fight even happened. That was two this is a 3.2k gold swing. Well, this, this is where they're strongest. This is where they're strongest. They have like oh. this very strong mid-game core in the gyrocopter. They have this ganking orient to nature's profit. They have this very push oriented with the uh, Necronomicon Master. Like, this is what they itemized to do. And look this at is, the look, Timbersaw. This is what their draft is. This is what their whole draft is for. And look at the Timbersaw. Look at the Timbersaw's build. He was originally going to go for Bloodstone, and then he's now changing it for a Yule Scepter. Uh, yeah. 
So considering or, how, the start yeah. that Young and Wild have, he should have had a Bloodstone by now, but he's been struggling, and he has to go for this budget, yeah. <laughs> budget mana regen item. Yeah, I mean, I thought at first maybe it's an eggs, but yeah, you're right. You probably both send tools. That's probably the uh, the more likely choice. Um, yeah. this, this is really sad for Tim Bursaw. I mean, this isn't a bad item on, on the hero base chance to get, like, easy steps for your uh, chakramans. It's it's a good item, but it's, you know, it's not the ideal item that you want on a Timbersaw. You just yeah. want that infinite mana mana regeneration so that you can just do whatever you want. And then after you go off to Core, and then who's going to stop you in your Porsche? I don't think anyone would be able to. Yeah. Or Ferrari. I guess you can call her Ferrari since he's a red Timbersaw. Um, do you have any cosmetics? It's this is a standard timber saw, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if he had the Octarine core, who's going to stop a Ferrari? He'll oh, be so okay. fast. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't oh. get it. Oh, uh, I feel bad not getting him. <laughs> I thought this would be something that you would understand. I, I thought it should have been, that I feel bad. Uh, like, if, like, if it was, like, a bad pun. I said Porsche to begin with. I thought you would have had the idea. Then I changed to a Ferrari. Like, what is happening with cars? I don't see any S and Ys here. I don't see- oh wait, Voker kinda has- Voker kind of has, like, a race car build, because you get bonus movement speed from the, uh, Shadow Blade, right? Um... Okay, Gyrocopter has the race. Okay. And, plus the- the tether movement speed. This is such a fast Gyrocopter, holy crap. He's fast, and he gets a build- uh, he also gets a regen too from Wisp. Oh gosh. Even uh, though he's fast though, it doesn't solve the problem that Young and Wild can still burst him down. Mm -hmm. He's great for chasing now though, so if Young and Wild fight into QZ, they have to fight him now. He's also like not squishy, he's uh, 1700 HP. And Orchid onto the Ember Spirit. Hate better yes. an Orchid. Yep, he did. I saw the, uh, the, not the Ogre Club, the, uh, staff thing. Oblivion yeah, staff. Ob Oblivion staff, yeah. There's a lot of staffs in this game. It's scary now for Young and Wild, because the Ember Spirit can't feel too comfortable pushing anymore because there could be an Orchid, but they get Oheb, who, uh, went on a warding mission, I think. So, like, quite interesting for him to go around this way, so. We get the T1 at least, oh, now there's a Yules the, that's gonna cancel the, TP, the silence. The TP comes in from QC and uh, Mad, they're oh, going to God. take down Zan. Oh my goodness, the Timbersaw just melted as well! Ford here is dead for Young and Wild. How did that happen? That happens so fast. And even KZ might die. He can't get in range for the Sprout. Oh. Not with that attitude, he can't. It doesn't matter, they're gonna push a bottom T2 and a top T2. Cause Wisp and Gyro are here. Oh man, Wisp. What hero Wisp is? Uh, it wasn't even just the Wisp. Oh, they actually managed to get a kill onto Hage God soon. Oh, can he TP out in time? One more hit, one more hit, they get him! Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't get a TP out. And they protect the tier 2, not at all. Yeah. Although, QC is now just going to hit you. Okay, I don't know, like I don't know if QC. I don't know why QZ wants to be here, there's no relocate for another 33 seconds. This I is mean, just a silly ex play. Ex experience has been there. Wait. Wait. Oh, Wisp is going Liberal. to die. These two are definitely going to die. There is the hole. Oh, no, actually, QC, might get a kill on QZ. QZ. No, he loses oh, vision. No. And they both kill off. QZ fine. He was not fine. He bought a, he bought a full BK before he died. Well. Hmm. Okay, that's not super good. That's some um, 3 2 2 thing right there, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It's- no, I don't think it's fine because you're giving some of these really big heroes on Young and Wild a chance to sort of come back to the game. There's a Lincoln Sphere being built up onto Justin Bieber right now. So I this is- good. That's, this that's is, the item yeah. he needs to go for with the uh, master in the game. It's unfortunate though because you're having to buy a defensive item. Invoker dies, by the way, up top, and it was a solo kill, I believe. So Nature's Prophet is just having a heyday. Drum's Orchid is powerful. Well, this game, look at all the heroes. Every single yeah. one of them is vulnerable. 
chat. You get you silence any of the cores and they can't run away. Not even silence, and I can't do anything. Look at Siki though, just waiting in the tree line. This is probably this is the best this is the best place to not do anything. Just get out, Siki. Don't bother. Alright, they're going for the Roshan. Younger Mod can't really do too much about it. I don't even have any vision around the Roche pit outside of this observer ward here. Outside of this, they have no idea what's happening around that area. And even then, Gain is like the only one that could possibly be in vision. He isn't in this room. They have a sentry though, they, they kind of know he's there. Yeah, they yeah, do know okay. he's there. Yeah, Ripple. Walks out, he just walked out of range, I have no idea he's there. They popped the sentry down now, he's gonna slowly burn, but it doesn't really matter. They Aegis has been claimed, and look at how he gets a he managed to get the Witch Doctor, and there's the relocated, but they're gonna be slowed up because of the ice wall, but it doesn't matter, BKP's gonna be there, Keezy's gonna go completely hammered, Keezy is running away for his life, get it's, silenced up, can't go walk, that is a ultra all kill. Kill, Jackson, if you were, please kill yourself. <laughs> Did I say that's horrible? Oh, Ramage. Okay. Also, the real Justin Cooper may or may not want to commit. But I sounds really horrible. Maybe not. He doesn't play Dota. I think so. It doesn't matter. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> oh, Wait, what? Whoa, what? Whoa, L, whoa, just whoa. Justin Bieber. Okay. Please. Oh, now he just finds H God. He TP's out, and he won't even get a kill. Now he's being chased up by two heroes. <laughs> Then a rocket. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the mindset was behind Justin Bieber's that, I play with the on, I think that was a misclick. I think he clicked on the wrong remnant. I don't think click on the wrong remnant, or he was maybe trying to bait a BKB out, but that didn't happen. Now QC's is gonna turn. Although like, this is probably not the best time. They're gonna come oh, at. Okay, okay that, that's why I picked Timberdon right there. Now, QZ has the Aegis, so this could be a turn. Aegis is pop, Siki is here with the Bane. They can kill now, him twice. They can kill him twice. Hey, hey, Scott! Oh, Death Ward, no, no, no. QZ is probably going to die unless he gets relocated out. No, he's missed relocated in. He needs to keep QZ alive. He's, he's alive! He's not taking any damage. It's now nice. he's gonna he, he, turn. He can do whatever he wants. No, not even wanting to go up high ground. Actually, running into everybody again. Oh, QZ, where's your? Okay, yeah, QZ he is he, going to drop. But look, he mid. does not need to go. Oh look god. Nature's profit at the desolator. Why not? They're they're baiting. They're. Yeah. Hey. You put this fine desolator, but necrofoot seems. He's got my kill. Oh himself. my god, he gets double kill with the with the cricket and the desolator. Oh my. Okay, H God is a freaking god right now. Double kill. Witch Doctor, get away from those heroes. You are very fragile at less than 500 HP. And all of a sudden, Wisp comes in, gonna heal Siki up, and now it's gonna be the turn as KZ as well as Witch Doctor need to get out of this. Goes Invis. Ghost walking Invoker, unfortunately, can't show himself. Ghost <laughs> <He's> walking, <laughs> he left his shadow blade. Oh, shadow blade. I keep thinking it's Ghost Walk. But look at Hage God, come in. Mad's gonna be right next to him. So Invoker just can't find any kills. Can't Invoker, do anything. He completely does work it, but it's like, it's really late. And it's like, too late. Hage like... God sees him. Hage God sees oh, him. He's around no. this Orchid oh, versus no. Orchid. Three, three seconds to the thing. No, does not get the shadow blade off. And it's a GG. Streamers have made it to the grand finals again. I believe in them to do it. The way they've been playing. Such a god, holy crap. That nature's profit play. Oh, so close. Like, e luck in the grand final? Wow. Yep. That was a series, for sure. Absolute okay. great, great series. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't mind if they won 2-0.